Hey guys, hey, here's what I'm gonna do really quickly, really quickly, I wanna introduce somebody that's really, really special, okay? As part of our Football in America leagues around the country, we want to be able to give back to the communities in which we play, okay? That could be putting money back into the facilities that we play or different community organizations. What we've done this year is we've selected the Challenge Athletes Foundation to, as, a, as a recipient of some of the funds from our league this year so that we can help put back into the community and give back. So I would like to introduce somebody who um, has really overcome a ton, and she's going to say a few words to you, but she's from the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Here's the mission of the Challenged Athletes Foundation. The mission is to provide opportunities and support to people with physical challenges so they can pursue active lifestyles through physical fitness and competitive athletics. The Challenged Athletes Foundation believes that involvement in sports at any level increases self-esteem, encourages independence, and enhances quality of life. So right now I'm going to introduce Jamie Marseille. Okay, she's a very special guest from the Challenge Athletes Foundation. Jamie lost her legs to frostbite after she and her friend were stranded in their car for 11 days during a blizzard while driving home from a ski trip in New Mexico. Jamie spent the next several years spending countless hours at the gym and learning to walk on her prosthetics. After watching the 1996 Paralympic Games, Jamie decided that she wanted to run. Jamie realized that exercise was also key key to her life and she began to train and compete with proper running prosthetics and spent years on the U.S. Paralympic track and field team. In 2001, she became the only double amputee woman to complete a half marathon. In 2015, she became the first female double amputee to complete a half marathon. Just two years ago, in 2016, she became the first female double amputee to complete a prestigious Boston. Jamie is a teacher at the Garden Grove School District in Orange County. She is a wife and the mother of two children. She is an ambassador at the Challenge Athletes Foundation. Where she has mentored other Challenge Athletes with similar disabilities. Jamie hopes to inspire those she meets by living, by being a living example that loss does not impede on happiness and a productive life. Let's all give a huge hand to Jamie. Everybody hear me? Yeah. Did you guys have a good time today? Yeah. yeah. Thank you to Drew and Chris and everyone. Trent from FNA. It sounds like it is going to be an incredible year for you guys. So I know we're all probably hungry and we're excited to talk about our day, but I want to spend a few minutes and just sharing my story with you. You guys all had some words of inspiration and motivation at each station. You guys learned about teamwork, integrity. I even heard the word humility. And I think that those are just a few of the words that we all need to empower ourselves with. Because as I stand here in front of you all today, I look different. I know, my legs are part robot. I think it's really cool. She's a robot. And that's what I've learned to embrace my differences. Because as you look around, we all look different. We're all different sizes, different shapes. Even kids that are the same age, you can be a different size. And the beauty of sports brings it all together for us. When you get out on that field, you are a member of a team. You have an opportunity to do your best, as Drew said. You go out there, you run fast, but you also have fun. And that's something that I've learned in the last 30 years because as Drew told you a little bit about me, I lost my legs at 19, so I didn't know anyone else who wore a prosthetic device, let alone, how does it work? Like, can I run again? Can I jump? I was really scared, and the doctors answered all my questions. They said, you can do whatever you put your mind to. So with hard work and dreaming big, you all can make a difference for yourself, for your friend, and for your own future. And it's taken me a long time to get that security, that strong sense of it's okay to be different. I'm an adult now, and so I've had that with me for a long time. Sometimes being a kid is tough. Mom and dad tell you no. Your teachers tell you you have to do your homework. But the reason why all the adults in your life do that is because they care about you. They love you unconditionally. They want the best future for you. And it's 
starts in here, guys. It starts with each and every one of you in your own heart, in your own mind, to go on and be better than you were yesterday. When you go to school and you see someone sitting by themselves at lunch, go over and say hi, like this. You go, hi. Hi, my name's Jamie. What's your name? Hi, Harper. It was so nice to meet you today. And did you see how happy Harper got when I went over and said hi and introduced myself? Yeah. You all have that power within you to make a difference for others. So I'm so honored that I got to come here today because I love my springy life. They give me a sense of independence, a sense of strength, and a sense of power. Because I know, as Drew said, I was lost on that mountain for 11 days. And my life was saved. So every day when I wake up, I know it's a good day because I get to put my legs on. And that's kind of a funny sentence. You guys, do you put your legs on? No. No, you put your shoes on, right? But you have to look at everything as a positive. And you have to look at life as a beautiful blessing. You guys get to wake up each day and go to school. That is a blessing. You get to wake up each day and hug your loved ones. That is a blessing. And then, pretty soon, you get to come out and play at FNA. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. That's gonna be an incredible year. So I just want to thank all the parents for supporting your kids. I know it's a lot of work. As a teacher and a parent, I kind of wear double duty. And all the kids for coming out and giving it your best. I want to end today by reminding you to always work hard. Like Drew said, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. And that doesn't matter. What matters is you get up each day and you work hard, you dream big, and you make a difference for yourself and your community. So thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you Drew and FNA for asking me to speak today. And I just really love the power of sport. I know what it's done for me. Growing up, I never ran. So I was kind of a lazy kid. Shh, don't tell anybody though. And then ironically, when I had my amputation, which means when they had to have surgery and give me prosthetic legs, that's when I learned to run. And it's changed my whole life. I've learned how important exercise is and eating healthy. Sure, I like to eat ice cream and cookies like you guys, but I also balance that out with my healthy greens and all my good healthy choices. So remember that. Make a difference for yourself and your neighbor and your family, and you guys are gonna go far in the world. Thank you, everyone. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Jamie, for being here. Um, it's an honor to uh, be able to support the Challenge Athletes Foundation through what we're doing with FNA. Um, and we're really honored to, uh, to, to have that partnership with you. So thank you. Can I say one thing? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So in regards to the Challenge Athletes Foundation, that's a huge part of why I'm here. I am an ambassador for the foundation. My prosthetics that I run on are very expensive. And I've been so fortunate because of a grant process and the program at the Challenge Athletes Foundation, that's how I'm able to run. So with the support of you and FNA, that money makes such a difference. And the Challenge Athletes Foundation wants people with different physical challenges just to be active. Whether you're like me and you want to run marathons, or whether you're going to go on to the Paralympics and change lives that way. But it's all about the power of sport and they really make a difference in my life and so many individuals across the world. Thank you. Everybody deserves a chance to play sports, right? Everybody deserves that chance. We're so glad to be partnered with you, Danny. Thank you. Um, by the way, who knows how far a marathon is? Anybody? Just throw it out. 26. Point two. That's right. 26.2 miles. So just to give you an idea of about how far that is. So you guys just rotated these 12 stations right here, right? Imagine you probably have to run around those stations a hundred times in order to run 26 miles. Is that right? Uh, sure. Maybe 150. Maybe 150. Huh? That's a long way, guys. It'd take you about five, six hours. All right. So what I want to do really quickly is I wanted to open up any questions to the parents. Um, 